I do not have a single file with a piece of paper in it. Not one. And that's true. Now, a few years back I did. I was like other people. But over the years, I got rid of them because it's all here. Everything I ever show a student, every handout, every guideline sheet, every visual aid, every PDF file, every Word document, every PowerPoint, every video, everything I ever show them is right here. Web-based, I can access it from anywhere, totally secure, and my students and their parents can see it anytime they want. Powerful tool. We want to create an environment like this. We want to trade in the kid staring off into space and the kid writing on the paper for something like this as much as we possibly can. And the first step is we're going to create secure web pages within our classroom website. So this isn't just about the teacher. So far, everything I've shown you is created by the teacher as a tool for educating. Okay? What I want to show you now is that we're going to spin it around and we're going to make it student-centered. And you're going to find very few sites that truly have this. The old days, now you guys think I won't pull you on this one. Think about if you still do this. If you're, if you're a language arts teacher, if you're anyone who has kids do journaling. Okay, I remember the days where I collected the journal and I put it in a plastic crate. And then I want to grade them over the weekend, and here I go. You wouldn't know how bad my back is. I'm still recovering from that. Never again. It's all there. It's all right there. Oh, student does work. I come in. I go to the comment section. You can see here, here on this particular slide, there are three different comments uh, in different months about the same project. This is an ongoing writing project that we had. And each, um, each time I come in, I've given them some sort of mini lesson and asked them to do something different. So I go in, I look to see that they've done it, and I give them feedback. Okay? Think of how nice this is today. In, in the, the old way, I would get a sheet of paper and... I would probably put a letter or points or a percentage on it. And I might make one little comment. And I would give it back, a little Sally, and we'd move on. And she would get her 40 out of 50 or 30 out of 50 or whatever and be happy or sad, depending on what kind of grade she's used to, and move on. What happens here is much different. First of all, there's no grade. There's no percentage. There's no points. What I'm doing is giving her legitimate feedback, okay? Uh, I like what you're doing. You're telling a nice story. I see plenty of emotion. You might consider, this is specific. And then I also ask them to tell me that they've made the change. They can come to me face to face and say, hey, I saw your feedback and I made the change. They can also click over to the message board because there's a place that's private there too. Student, me. It says right to Mr. Barnes only. Only they see it. By the way, I didn't really cover that very much, but that's a really nice tool um, for kids who are uh, reluctant to come to teachers, for kids who maybe are having a problem in class that's not academic. I get messages all the time, can you move me away from Johnny because he distracts me? Oh, I love that. They won't raise their hand and tell me that. A lot of times they won't even come to me, sadly, because many times teachers have said, deal with it. Okay? So when they, when they write something like that to me, I take it very seriously. And I go to them and I say, hey, I got your message. Or I write back to them and say, I'm working on it. I'll get right back to you. So that's a really nice piece. And then when I go back in, I get thank yous here all the time. How many times have you handed a kid a paper with a letter or a number and they've looked at it and went, thank you? I'm guessing it doesn't happen very often. But when I take time to put this feedback in, it's amazing to me how many kids hit comment and write, thank you, Mr. Barnes. I just love that. How's it different from Moodle, Blackboard, others? Uh, it's better, for starters, um, by a lot. Uh, those things can do some of this, but not all. Number one, I know a lot of my teachers who take my courses, their schools use one of those, and 100% of them tell me that they hate it. They say, first of all, the kids don't like it. That's the negative. The kids love this. I get a 100% turn-in rate on anything that has to do with their site, with a blog, 
with the ability for, of them to find videos and embed them on their pages. They go crazy with it. And they don't have those kinds of freedoms with the other sites. And they don't build a site of their own that looks that good. My kids love the fact that they create things. They show it off. They share it with their friends. When it gets late in the year, they're asking me if they can keep it. Uh, but, you know, to me, it's, it's just an incredible value. You know, it's just amazing. Once you start doing it and you are a few years in like I am, you never want to quit. Thank you again, all of you, and for sticking around. I, I really appreciate it.